This is probably one of the fastest installations of Windows 10 in the world. Stick around to find out how I did it. It's TechWiz time. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TechWiz Time, where I help you save time and money when it comes to gaming and technology. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how I created probably the world's fastest Windows 10 installer out there in the entire world. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over the steps on how I created the world's fastest Windows 10 installer, but I'll also link out to some other videos to show you how you can do it yourself. All those links will be down in the description below. Now, when it comes to Windows 10, you generally would install that from either a CD or a USB stick. And that, that's all fine and good, and it will install, it just takes a little bit of time. But I wanted to see if I could actually increase the speed of installing Windows 10, especially since I'm installing it more and more lately. Now for the average consumer, this probably isn't the cheapest method of doing it. However, it is fun to watch. So stick around and we'll go through the steps now. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a NVMe USB 3.1 Gen 2 <laughs> enclosure. Now the reason why those things are so important, especially the USB 3.1 Gen 2, Technical, technical, I know. Because we wanna get the fastest speed out of that as possible, at the moment, USB 3.1 Gen 2 is one of the fastest ports available that offers 10 gigabits per second. Now there's gonna be more technical people that are down in the comments gonna say, no, 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 there's Thunderbolt 3 and, and all that sort of, yes, there is Thunderbolt 3. However, I'm just talking for the average consumer, uh, for motherboards out there, you're not going to really find a lot of them with Thunderbolt 3, there are some, granted, but the more common one with a Windows PC is gonna be USB 3.1 Gen 2. So the technical jargon out of the way, that's what we're gonna need is we're gonna need one of these stick things. But it doesn't stop there. The next thing that you're gonna need is going to be an NVMe drive. Now this particular one here is the 960 Evo. And if I open it up and show you, it looks like a little piece of gum. So not very big at all. And that is gonna fit inside of here. And this one here stores about 250 gigabytes of data. So again, it's overkill, but what I'm looking for here is not the space rather than the speed. Now, all those figures that I was mentioning before, this one here will read and write at up to 10 gigabits per second, which if you wanna keep it really flat and simple, just think of it like a thousand megabytes per second. Now these little M2 drives, they can run at 3,200 megabytes per second on the read. A Little bit slower on the write, but that's not what we're really worried about here. What we're worried about is the read speed because our Windows computer, when we're installing Windows, is going to be reading the information off this. So based on a USB 2 stick and a constructed NVMe external enclosure, I'll show you on the screen now the difference in speeds between these two drives in a program called Crystal Disk Mark. Now you can see that the NVMe external enclosure is reading at a massive speed compared to the USB 2 stick. But I didn't wanna just rely on the Crystal Disk Mark scores to say, yeah, this is gonna be faster. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a real world test and show you installing it from a USB 2 drive, how long that's gonna take versus an NVMe external enclosure and how fast that will actually install Windows 10 on a new PC. Now to set the mood, the NVMe drive that is installed on the motherboard of this computer is the same one here. So it will be able to write at up to 1500 megabytes per second. So there's not gonna be no bottleneck there when it comes to the NVMe external enclosure. So you can see here that the NVMe enclosure is definitely the winner when it comes to installing Windows 10 on a new PC. How fast is that? Now I know this isn't practical for the average consumer and there's gonna be a lot of people out there that are gonna be like, oh, why are you doing this? There's no point. Yeah, there, there is no point, but there also is a point because it's showing how things are getting so fast when it comes to modern day PCs. 
and that there are always going to be little hacks that you can do to actually get better speeds out of your existing hardware. So no, the average consumer is not going to buy this, especially considering the cost of a USB 2 stick versus an NVMe enclosure with the NVMe drive. It's it, the bar charts are off the off the charts. <laughs> You're not going to pay for a faster Windows 10 installer unless you're in say a business where you're doing this all the time. And generally in those sort of circumstances, you're gonna clone the drives anyway. So there's no real point unless this is something that is going to suit your workflow. So thanks for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when I release new videos. You can help support this channel via Patreon, or if money isn't your thing, then you can always help by sharing this video for free on social media platforms like Facebook, Reddit, or even Twitter. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it. And once again, thanks for your support with this channel. Everyone out there that helps, you know, by sharing and liking and commenting on this video really helps this channel to grow. So a huge thanks for everyone's support. And as always, Imagine, learn, create.